Drone vs. Worker Bee When it comes to honeybees, these industrious insects contribute a lot more to our day-to-day -day existence than meets the eye. Besides the tasty honeycomb you may be munching on this very moment, did you know that bees also contribute a great deal to our language as well as our environment? Chances are, you've probably heard a particularly high-energy person referred to as a worker bee or a rank-and-file employee called a drone at some point. So, let's go. Number 1. Worker Bees Responsible for virtually all of the jobs inside the hive, worker bees are all female and are completely infertile. The queen bee emits a pheromone that inhibits the ovaries from growing, leaving worker bees unable to challenge the queen the only source of fertilized eggs in a hive for dominance or control. Instead, these crucial hive members perform an impressive array of tasks, from building the waxy honeycomb cells, to raising bee eggs and larvae, to defending the hive from intruders. The only task they share with their male counterparts, drone bees, are temperature regulation for the hive. If the hive becomes too hot or cold to protect and nurture the queen and her eggs. Number 2. Drone Bees. It takes two to tango, as the saying goes, and as hard as the queen and her worker bees labor to keep the hive running smoothly, male bees are still needed to fertilize the eggs. Without this fertilization, the hive which can contain up to 50,000 bees would die out in short order. That's because bee lifespans are surprisingly short, while the queen is relatively long-lived at up to 5 years, worker bees last an average of 4 to 6 months, and drones a mere 90 days. Without healthy, frequently replenished egg production, even an impressive volume of bees would be a collapsed colony before very long. A drone bee is the only type of adult male bee in the hive, and he is entirely reliant on female worker bees to stay fed and alive. Drones do not collect pollen and nectar, nor do they make honey or royal jelly, they must receive all food from their sisters to survive. Their sole purpose in their short life is to mate with the queen bee, which they will do in flight, which is why their eyes appear so much larger than a queen or worker bee's eyes they need them for flight precision. Number 3. Relentless Efficiency. While each of these two bee types contributes an important, necessary effort to the well-being of the hive, they can also be brutally efficient when need be. If a queen bee stops producing enough fertile eggs or stops laying eggs altogether, both worker and drone will gang up to sting her to death, making room for a new queen to be raised. While she's doing it to support the drones and queen inside her hive, in the process she's ensuring fertile pollination for the plants, fruits, and vegetables that humans rely on to survive. 